Hello, this is Matthew First, instructor here at the Computer Workshop. And in today's video, I'm going to answer a question that I got from a student uh, that was using PowerShell. What their question was is they wanted to know if there was a way to retrieve the entries off of the ACL of a folder or a file using PowerShell. To answer the question, the answer is yes. PowerShell has a PowerShell method, get ACL. And we can just point that at a directory. What it returns is it returns a lot of information. It gives you the path, the owner of the directory. It has an access area, which is an object that is a listing of all of the entries and what permissions they have on the folder. Well, just dumping this wasn't clean enough for them. They wanted to go out and uh, see the individual values uh, just to write a report. So what we can do then is once we have the ACL um, object, we can then go out and pull it apart. So what I'm doing here in line number five is I'm creating a variable access, which is going to be a uh, collection of the access area of what I got from the get ACL. I'm then going to loop through each of those entries, and each of those entries has a object identity reference, and the identity reference has a property value, which basically returns the string name of the user or group for that ACL entry. So when I run the script, what I get is a listing of all of the ACL assignments to my video folder. The follow-up to the question was, well, Matt, that's all great, but I don't want a listing of the built-in groups or those NT authority groups. How could we go about filtering that out? One way that we could go out and do the filtering is we now have back a string. And in PowerShell, the string has a series of parameters that we can use with them to go out and do filtering. In this case, what I wanted is I only wanted to print out um, the entries that didn't match a couple of values. If we look at the string parameters, one of them is I not match. With the I not match, this takes as a parameter a regular expression. What I can do here is I can write a regular expression for built in pipe NT authority. So what this is going to do is if the values don't match built-in NT authority, they're going to print to my screen. So if I rerun this code, I now have the filtered list of only the entries that are not built-in or those NT authority. And again, what I'm doing is just using what's built into PowerShell, the get ACL commandlet, and connected to our string object, there is that I not match. Uh, there's also a match uh, parameter. Uh, what that would do is if I wanted to only print in, print out the built-in and NT authority, I could use the match there. Um, but with the I not match, it allows me to do the negative, which in this case is what the um, person was asking for, is I just wanted a list of the groups that were assigned by their administrators. They did not want any of the uh, built-in groups. Hopefully uh, this video will help you out if you've had this same question, uh, needed to go out and retrieve information about an ACL from a file using PowerShell. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, again, my name is Matthew First and thank you for your time.